Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, as you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be glam a bunch of times. We're doing a little review, okay? Because I got these new makeup revolution palettes, okay? Now let me tell y'all a little bit about these palettes. They were $15. I got them on Ulta.com. But you want to know what's bogus? I bought them for $15. And then my cousin told me, she's the one who told me about the palettes first of all. She sold them first. And then my cousin told me that like a week later, because I've had these, I don't know, maybe I, I ordered them at least like a week and a half ago. I got them, I probably had them for like four days. And my cousin told me that like she went back online and they were nine dollars. So maybe you could be lucky and maybe they're still nine dollars. But I think the retail price just for for sure for sure is fifteen dollars. And they was just on sale. But yes, let me show y'all. Let's get into this real quick. We're gonna be doing some looks with all three of these palettes and see what's the hype. Now I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you. I swatched some of them, just some of the shimmer shades. Cause I didn't want to, I wanted the mattes to be like a first impression type of thing. So yeah, this is it. I swatched this one cause I wanted to see what it would do, you know? And then I swatched this one and this one. So look, this is the first one. This one is, they all have different ones. This one is Affinity. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the whole title of the thing, if you guys want to search it up, is Makeup Revolution. And then this is the Forever Flawless palette. And this one is called Affinity. It's like a little pink, you know, you girl has to get some like pinky colors because, you know, just some basics, a little pop of color type of vibe, you know, nothing like, I mean, yes, yeah, something crazy. Look at this. They just glitter. Okay. Okay, then the next one is also pretty basic. It's like, it's kind of like fall time type of vibes. And this one is called um, Fire. This is the Fire palette. Look at the little packaging. Packaging, I give it a 25 out of 10. So pretty. Look at this red and this yellow. Like what? This is so beautiful. I'm so excited about this one. These two are like more of like neutrals, basics, you know, just like necessity type of vibe. But this last one, y'all are not ready. You are not ready. I'm telling you right now that you're not ready for this. Get ready. Prepare yourself. I'll wait. You ready? Okay, this one is called Birds of Paradise. And let me just show y'all. This one I think is my favorite for sure. Because you know, your girl love color. I like pink a lot too, but I love color. Like what? This I also swatched. I swatched this blue one because like I literally couldn't. Res I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I wanted it to be like a first impressions type of video, but I I couldn't resist. I'm not even gonna hold you, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But all the mats, everything are untouched, so we're gonna get that first impression type of vibe today. Uh, we're gonna be doing three different looks, three different. Hold on, three different looks. If you guys wanna see. How I'm gonna achieve these looks and the realty on these palettes if it's worth the money. I mean like $15. I mean for $15, they could have literally sold me Crayola chalk and I would not be. I would not be mad. We finna see the realty. If you wanna see it, then keep on watching because the video is about to start. Right now. This a channel, this a channel that you stumbled upon This a channel, this a channel that you wanna be on Got smiles all day and slay, go crazy No bad vibes here, I don't move that way I ain't mad, I ain't tripping, I ain't talking no smack I'm just following my heart, cause Sierra do that <laughs> All right, so this is how the first look turned out So I used the, um, the Affinity palette First, I started off going into the shade called Touch, and then I just put that all over, like, the top part of my lid. Or not lid, but, you know. And then I went in and I carved my crease with Maybelline Femme Concealer. By the way, all of these makeup looks, I primed my eyes with the Maybelline Femme Concealer in the shade Cool Ivory. 
after I curved my crease, I went into the shade Forever. It's like this orangey, like, shimmer shade. It has, like, a little bit of, like, maybe, like, gold reflex in it, but not, not strong gold reflex, you know what I mean? So it's, like, this cute little orange shade. And this shade was actually scaring me when I first tried to put this on because I was just like, is this going to show up? So, like, the first swipe, it was a no-go, but it's very much buildable. It actually turned out really cute. I like how the shade was. And then after that, I dipped back and forth between the shades Connect and Loyal and like you know to get the perfect like brown because I didn't want it to be too dark and then I put that on like the outer part of my eye just to darken it up a little bit but not like do too much so then after that I, I went over my crease with my Maybelline Femi concealer just to set like a base for when I put the shade bond over it and then I went in with the shade bond and this is also a shade that had to take a lot to like build up but it was like it was pretty pigmented but it wasn't like it wasn't as shimmery as it looks in the thing so it, it took a little bit of build up to get there but yeah i had to get that pop of color because that's like the that's the color that stands out the most in this palette after that i went towards the inner corner and then i used the shade attraction to like brighten it up a little bit and to use some more of the colors i wanted to like use as many colors in this palette as i could I didn't get to all of them because like all of them don't even really go together. I mean, they go together, but like, you know, it's hard to like fit all these colors in one look. After I did the rest of my face makeup, I went into the shade Force. I went into the shade Force and I put that on my lower lash line and, you know, smoked that out a little bit. And then I went back into the shade Attraction and then just put that in the inner corner. And then also I used the shade Affinity for highlights. And that was shop popping. As you can see, I was totally geeked. Yeah, that's it for this look. On to the next one. All right, y'all. I am back with the second look. And this is how the look turned out. Okay, so we went in with the Fire Palette. And the first thing that I did was I used the shade Flame all over the top part of my lid. And then blended it out, you know, just used it as like the base color, you know, transition shade. I think that's what it's called. And then after that, I went in between Ashes and Burn. And then I like smoked it out, gave it a little bit of depth, you know what I mean? Back and forth, more towards ashes because I didn't want it to be super dark. But, like, I used the shade Burn more towards, like, the edge. And then I cut my crease. And then once I cut my crease, I got to these bright shades. But let me start with the yellow. The yellow shade is called Ignite. And then I put the shade Ignite in the first part, beginning part of my leg. And then, yes, Miss Thing was popping off, but it was nothing, nothing compared to Lava. This shade called Lava literally carried this whole look. Like, this shade is literally amazing. I can't, I can't begin to explain how much this popped off. Like, I was absolutely shook. I was blown away. It's so much more like of a red-orange, which I don't have any other shade like that, so it's a good find. After Lila, I went into the shade called Red Hot, the color that stand out the most in this palette. Even though it's the one that stand out the most in this palette, I think Lava came through a little bit harder, but Red Hot still did its thing. Okay, and then after that, I went in with the shade Cold. It's this black shade in the palette. And then I went, and then I did like a little wingish moment, and then I pulled it up to like the crease, you know, connected it to the crease, so it could look a little bit like a smokier look because it's giving fire type of vibes with this look. For the under eye, I went into the shade Inferno. It's like this dark red burgundy shade in this palette, which is super cute. Even though this palette mostly has matte shades, I think there's more matte shades. So like, you know, so then I put a little bit of the shade Wildfire down there with that dark red, you know, blend them together, it was super cute. And then for the inner corner, I wanted to do something a little bit more bright. And then this green was the only thing that's like pretty unique that I wanted to use. Cause all the other shimmers, like I've basically used these shimmer shades before. Like I have them in other palettes, maybe a little bit different, but still worked with it. It's like bronzy golds type of vibes in here. So 
that green shade was the only one that was just like something different so then i put that in the inner corner but that's how i got this look it's super cute super smoky i love this palette on to the next look all right everybody this is the final look okay like i said this palette was the one with the bang okay so let me give you a little rundown so the first thing that I went into is the shade. It's called Two Can Play. I think that shade color is really cute. That name is really cute. And yeah, so I went in there and I went in the beginning of my lid, my upper lid. <laughs> and then I put that in the beginning of my upper lid. And then the next one that I went into is Tweet. It's this little like coral, hot coral type of vibe. And then I put that right next to the orange. And then, you know... I was already starting to feel myself because this was really popping off before I could even see the whole look, like see the whole fantasy. All right. And then the next color that I went into is Vacay, this like hot pink shade. And it was really a vibe. It was just, everything was just going so smoothly. It was just so beautiful. And then I used the Maybelline Femi Concealer, shade Cool Ivory. And then I cut my crease. For the lid shade, I went over to Budge, Budge. Munchy? I don't know. I'm going to show y'all what this looks like. It's a weird name. So yeah, I went into that shade and I put that all over my lid. It's like this like vibrant green. I wouldn't necessarily say lime green. Lime green is a little bit lighter, but it's just like this little vibrant, like regular type of green look. And then I put that all over the lid. And then I went into this shade is called Take Flight. It's like this, what is it, teal, turquoise, whatever it's called, like blue-green, mostly like on the blue side. And then I put that towards the outer part of my eyelid. And then, yeah, just darken that up a little bit. All right, y'all, so I'm actually editing my video right now, and I just realized that I didn't even say the best part of the look. So I went into the shade Rio, which is this beautiful, amazing blue glitter shade in this palette. And I can't believe I left this part out. I was talking too fast and I literally skipped over this part, the step in the makeup tutorial. But basically, I just literally picked it up with a regular like pencil brush. Like, tell me why this shade literally glides on like butter. Like, I didn't have to put no lash glue, nothing to get this to stick. I didn't have to cut the crease or anything or line it up or anything. I literally just glided this on without anything. And when I tell you, I was so shook at how easily this glitter was to apply on my lid like it's so pigmented and it just glides on so nicely and there's also another one called lovebirds and it's the pink one and i'm so excited to use that one but i just had to say this i can't believe i left this out but yeah that's what i did in this step and then and then once i finished with my lashes and everything on the lower lash line i went back into the shade who can play the little like vibrant orange color and then i put that underneath and then I put um, right by my inner corner, I went back into that shade Canary, and then I put that right there. And then for the inner corner highlight, I went into the shade High Tropic. This color was actually so weird. It literally is like putty type of, type of thing. I don't even know. But yeah, and that is the final look. That's how I got this look, okay? All right, and that's it for today's video. I'm kind of ending this a little bit vlog style because the lighting is kind of weird right now. I don't know why. Maybe because it's becoming nighttime or it is nighttime because I've been doing this all day that the lighting is weird. I don't know why that would play an effect on it. Maybe the lighting was weird this whole time and I'm just not noticing, but yeah. All right, so for the affinity palette this is like the pink palette type of vibes i give this one a nice 9 out of 10 because first of all well all of them in general are a 10 out of 10 but i'm talking about like color wise how often i would use it you know but like all of them like pigment everything wise is a 10 out of 10 maybe even 11 out of 10 these are great pigments but i'm talking about like practicality and like how much i would use it so i would give this a 9 out of 10 just because it is just more basics um the packaging is actually really beautiful. It's actually metal packaging. It's not like some cheap cardboard stuff. Like, so this is some real deal type of vibes. And it just actually gives off a really cute look. Like, but it is, again, basic. So I wouldn't give it like full fledged, like, you know, for uniqueness. Like, you know, the most unique that it gets is this packaging. Because this packaging is actually bomb.com. And then for 
fire palette. I would give this one an 8 out of 10. Again, it does have more of like a unique colors to it, but this is not colors that I, I usually wear. But I do like do all different types of makeup, so it's not even like I do one thing or the other. It's just like practicality. Neutrals, a lot of neutrals, very little pop of color, a lot of shimmer, like regular shimmer shades. So I would give this one 8 out of 10. Formula-wise, everything else space-wise, 11 out of 10. They're all like really beautiful palettes, but I'm just talking about like, you know, you get what I'm, you picking up my drift. Like, I'm not trying to hate on these. These are actually really good palettes, especially for their price point. Incredible. All right, and then here comes the 10 out of 10 creativity, range, pigment, everything. Just, I would use this palette all the time. Can create so many different looks. It's not going to look the same all the time. Like, you know what I mean? So this is what I mean, like, what a 10 out of 10, like, you know? But all in all, all of them are super good palettes. I would recommend everybody going to get some. They have way more variety of them. So, like, you can get whatever you want. Like, there's, like, blue base palettes. Like, there's just all types of palettes. I probably will be purchasing more in the future. But just had to start somewhere because I was just like, no way. No way. These are $15, you know. And if y'all want Makeup Revolution, y'all can sponsor me because your girl's loving the product, okay? Your girl is loving the product. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time creating all these looks. I did all this in one day, by the way. So make sure you leave a thumbs up and you tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.